Hello everyone, in the previous episode what we did is we got the player to move around. It's like so. Uh, but the issue is that whenever we touch a coin, the coin will not collect. So what we're going to do is we're going to fix that in this episode. Uh, we use the move and slide function to move the player. There's also another function called get slide collision. So basically what this would do is we set an index and this would get the current collisions in the uh, player. So what we can do is we can set this to a variable collision. And this will be the first slide. Now you will see that if we run this, we're going to get a little bit of errors because uh, there is no guarantee that the player has a collision. So what we need to do is we need to check if the player has a collision. So get slide collision count. And if it's greater than zero, uh, then what we can do is we can set this to a collision and then do stuff with the collider. So uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to print uh, the collider. So collision dot get collider collider uh here we go and this will print the collider that we have so we're gonna test it out so we touch a coin and then we go back here and we can see that it is printing out coin so that is great how can we determine if we touch a coin or not i mean obviously we can use the name but the thing is that these have different names so this could be coin coin two coin three uh, we can also use string functions, but there is no guarantee that we're going to name these coins. So what we can do is we can use groups. So if we go over to uh, 2D, we go to coin. What we can do is we can go to node, go to groups here, and then we can add a groups called coins. Now this will be added to every single coin in main. So if you check this and go to groups, you can see that this has the group coins. So what we can do is we can check if the collider is in the coins group. So what we do is we go collision dot get collider dot is in group and we will check coins and then if this is true then we can print yay or coins or anything that you want so we're going to test it out we're going to touch this which has the name of coins and it prints yay there we go uh we're going to clean this up and then we're going to go back here and we're going to touch this one which has uh not coins it's like coin two or point three touch it and it also prints yay here so that works uh, what we can do now is we can destroy the object so we're going to get this get the collider and we're going to make this free so destroy the object and we can add another variable here called coins and we're going to set this to zero so we're going to do coins let's equal one so whenever we touch the coin it should remove itself and we should have one uh extra coins in our variable so we go to remote see we destroyed two coins so we should technically have two uh go to player and you can see that the coins is two so that works now the next step is displaying it so what we need to do is we need to add a label type in label and this is going to be right here let's get a grid and then let's make this like so then we're going to set this zero uh we can put this at the center center and we're going to make this a little bit bigger so we're going to go do new label setting and then we're going to click on it and then we're going to change the font so 50 that works maybe a little bit bigger 55 and yeah uh what we need to do is we need to add a script to this so script new script and we're going to call this score so what the script will do is every time or every process um we're going to check for the player and if the player exists then we're going to uh, set the player coins to the label text so we're going to do the first thing by checking for a player so to get the player the player is in the main it's in the main scene and it's called player so what we can do is we can do bar player equals get uh, node and we can do slash root slash main slash player and this will hopefully get the player and if the player exists then we just set the text to the player dot coins and hopefully that works and there is an error uh, text with the value int okay because player.coins is a is an integer or text is a string so we're just going to set this to a string and i'm going to run it again and see if that works so when we collect a coin so you can see that the value changes from zero to one and we're going to collect this coin and then this coin and there we go so that's how you set uh, a label that shows them uh, the score the player has and how to collect the coins